Hello friends, welcome to wavescript.info and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel here. My name is Rezwan Khan and I am a software developer working with the technologies such as PHP, JavaScript, Node, React and Angular. So basically I am a full stack developer. I create videos based on web developments, both the front ends and back end. You can watch the videos in my channel. Here we are going to do a quick comparison between Laravel and Coding Editor. So let's begin the race. And before starting this, I would like to also mention like I have done a small mini project in Laravel. Link is available in the des description. If you want, you can watch and you can make your own decision which framework is good. So let's continue. The main question is like when to use Laravel and when to use Coding Editor. It's all depends on your knowledge and experience. So we will come to the conclusion at the end of this video. So the common things we have in both the frameworks are both the frameworks are open source frameworks and both, both the frameworks follow the MVC architecture. So this is the common things uh, we have in all the frameworks. So like again the question saying when to use Laravel and when to use coordinator. So it's completely depends upon the application what we are going to build. For example, if you are going to build a pharmacy store application or if you are going to build uh, if you are going to build a general billing software then both the frameworks are fine you can use any one of them and you can build the software uh, very quickly but here the question is for a billing software is there any requirement of additional features available in the laravel it's like having a very small toy in a very big basket right I don't think it makes sense. So I will always prefer coordinator in case of such applications. Now let's talk about the freedom in both the frameworks. Laravel force you for the development of web application by using MVC architecture pattern. On the other hand, coordinator gives you full freedom as a developer. You don't need to depend on MVC development pattern. But always remember full freedom sometimes leads you in a problem. If you are a good coder but lacking in experience, then there is a high chance using coordinator you may fall in the wrong track. So here Laravel strictly design architecture always keeps you in a correct development path. Now other things we are going to discuss in terms of tools and technology. So we have Composer. Now the question is what is Composer? Composer is a PHP dependency manager tool. So if you are going to build an application using PHP programming language and if you need to install a third party library or any library you need, you can use the Composer to install the dependencies required to your application. Here Laravel lives begin with Composer. You can use the Composer command to install the Laravel, uh, Laravel framework and you can also install all the required dependency by using composer command here coding it is a composer free framework you don't need to use composer if you are going to have going to use coding it you just need to download a zip file and you are ready to use it but from the version 3 of coding editor it allows you to use to make use of composer you just need to make little changes in the configuration file of coding editor and then you can use the composer like all other applications. Now let's talk about the command line tool. So today's software world is completely based on command line tools. Every framework comes with some command line tools. They have their own command line tools to create the uh, framework, to generate the framework files and all. So here Laravel comes with a command line tool called Artisan. Here you can use artisan command to create the controllers, models and you can do a lot of things with artisan. And on the other hand, coordinator does not offer you such thing. So here you have to manually create the files, you have to write the controller and all. So here we have a disadvantage in coordinator. Let's talk about the modularity in both the frameworks. So first the question is what is modularity? So modularity is a software design technique in which programmer divides a software project into modules and each module can, can contain separate uh, each modules can contain their own model views controllers and all here in coordinator does not offer you inbuilt modularity 
but you can install third party libraries such as HHVM and then you can create the separate reusable mod modules and then you can use that modules in other projects. Luckily Laravel comes with built-in modularity so everything is like module. You can reuse your modules in some other applications. Now let's uh, the hot topic uh, is authentication laravel comes with authentic authentication tools so you can use artisan command to generate the authentication system and you can also generate the view files and you can make use of those authentications and you can make the development faster here coordinator does not offer such feature now routing, both the framework offers you the routing features. Using both the frameworks, you can create user friendly or search engine friendly URLs. But Laravel is, routing is very advanced compared to coding editor. Here you can customize the URL for one page. You can write the multiple URLs and a lot of things here. here. Active records, both the frameworks offers you to have active records by using query builder classes so you can perform all the read write update and delete of operations using uh, the predefined methods like select get so according to their according to the frameworks they have their own active record methods you can just make a call and you can use them coordinator supports wide variety of database compared to laravel but laravel make use of orm object relational mapping coordinator does not offer you something like that so here by using ORM you don't need to interact directly with the database it's a kind of abstraction over the database tables so you can create a model and by using model you can perform all the database related operations without writing SQL query and here is the list of uh, databases uh, supported by the Laravel and coordinator now one of the great feature available in the laravel is middleware and this offer does not given by the coding writer so middleware is used to filter the http request which are coming to the application one of the predefined middleware in laravel is auth middleware and it validates the user like user is logged in or not and you can also create your own middleware to perform some validation over the HTTPS request. Laravel gives you the full support of APIs. You can create the RESTful APIs very easily in Laravel application, but not in Coordinator. Here Laravel offers you template engine. Coordinator does not offer you built-in template engine. You'll have to write the raw PHP code in the view files. But you can install a third party library in coordinator and then you can make use of the template engine. And if you want to know more about the template engine and the Laravel, then you can follow or you can watch my mini project uh, using Laravel. The link is available in the description. Uh, one of the uh, one tool also offered by the Laravel is unit uh, PHP unit. By using this uh, tool, you can perform unit testing but coding editor does not offer you anything like that so you'll have to manually do uh, testing and you'll have to install some third party libraries to perform unit testing here one of the great tool i felt i felt like tinker uh, from the laravel it is uh, another um, command line tool uh, comes with the laravel you can make use of the tinker to interact with the database you can just you, you can just use cli and you can perform as um, you can perform database related operation you can retrieve the data update the data and all but coordinator does not offer you so now let's talk about the learning curve so laravel offers you many different additional um, laravel offers you various additional features that, which are difficult to learn for the beginners but in the coding editor you can just mark if you're very good with the core php then you can do mastery in coding editor in just less than a week let's talk about the community support both the frameworks has huge uh, community support if you are looking for an answer in these two frameworks then you will get a lot of answers available on the stack overflow stack overflow is full of answer related to these two frameworks questions so you'll get the full support from the community my favorite part in both the frameworks are 
if i'm talking about the laravel then i i felt uh, i felt like one of the great feature of laravel is creating migration files so here you can create the migration files which are basically used to create perform the database related operations and in this way you can keep track of all the database rela relevant activities and events here Kodi, uh, what I love about the coordinator is uh, this is one of the lightest uh, framework if you are looking for one of the lightest framework with a very small footprint then you can go with coordinator my conclusion uh, about these two frameworks are like uh, I'm not going to make winner Laravel as I already told you like if you compare if we compare based on the features then Laravel will always be the winner but here it depends upon the application what we are going to build if i'm going to build a general billing software then why why should i use laravel just let me know in the comment section why should i use laravel if i'm going to build a normal software coordinator is absolutely fine even coordinator is good if you're going to build a large application in my company i developed uh, applications uh, large applications using coordinator itself so you can use it's all depends on, upon the developers experience and developers knowledge so now let's talk about the in terms of the money like how much money you can earn so every salary if you typed on google like if you're a laravel developer then how much you can earn so you will get the list of websites and one of them i found it like seventy one thousand four hundred fifty nine dollar per year this is a u.s figure and 47753 dollar um, it's also a us figure so like i don't know how much true it is and uh, is it true or not but yeah if you're good with laravel then obviously you'll earn more and if you're good in both the frameworks then definitely you'll you can double your income you can do the freelancing work and you can do a lot of things let's end this video and uh, let's choose what fits you best so i would like to say like uh, just think about it how good you are with the framework if you if you are very good with a coordinator and you don't know about the laravel then obviously go with coordinator whatever the application you are going to build and i would suggest you to learn laravel as well and if you started learning laravel then i would never recommend you to start developing an application immediately with laravel because it's not just a ordinary framework it comes with a lot of wide variety of tools so it obviously requires so much time to do mastering laravel so guys if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me your opinion about the framework which framework you like most in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends to let them know the difference between laravel and coordinator